Hello everyone, I am Shamant Gowda, CSET faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the question of the day series. This question was asked as the homework, the bouncer of last videos. That's good that many of you guys have given the correct answer in the comment section. Now look at the solution. As I have explained how to solve this kind of question in the last video, here also I will explain, look here now, count the number of characters first, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 means it has been categorized as 3 into 5 or else 5 into 3, okay. Rather than checking for 3 into 5, most probably the cases will be 5 into 3. If it is not working, then go for 3 into 5. See, look here now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See, everything is ending with B, hence we can say this is 5 into 3 that is, okay. See, look here now, this is A means I will put A here, A here. This is NCB, NCB, so I will put here C, okay. A dash, NCB, A dash, NCB, A dash, NCB. Now look here, this is ending with the last but one character has to be A, like this. Either this has to be or else this has to be. In both the cases, there is B. So if this is B, I will put B here also, here also. So this is A, B, N, C, B, A, B, N, C, B, A, B, N, C, B, this is the pattern, okay. This is the pattern. So A, B, N, C, B means what are the blanks which I have filled here? B, C, A, B, A, B, B, C, A, B, A, B. So option A is the correct answer. And guys, this is today's question. I am going to explain. This is a very good question. This I have picked from a topic, direction and distance. The question says from point A, a man travels 10 meters north and takes a left turn and moves 10 meters to reach B. At B, there is an electric pole of height 5 meters, okay. In whenever the direction question is there, you plot it, okay. You convert the question into figural form. From point A, a man goes 10 meters north and takes a left turn. So this is point A. North, he travels 10 meters and takes a left turn and travels 10 meters, see. Left turn, always a turn left or right is 90 degree turn, okay. So this is 10 meters and this is 10 meters. At B, point B he reaches, at B there is an electric pole of height, of height 5 meters. Let us draw an electric pole of height 5 meters. On the top of the pole there is a pigeon. What is the shortest distance it should fly to reach point A? Means there is a pigeon here. What is the shortest distance it has to fly to reach point A means this is the distance he is asking for. From this top of the pole to the bottom of this point A, okay. Now look here. If you travel 10 meters north and 10 meters left, this is a 90 degree, okay, 90 degree. 10 meters, I am redrawing this one, this is 10 meters. This is point A, this point B. If I take the distance from the bottom of this pole to point A like this, from point A to the bottom of the pole itself, on the ground itself, okay, shortcut from here to here. If this is 90 degree, we have to apply the Pythagoras. Remember this one, whenever this is 10 and this is 10, Pythagoras says this has to be 10 root 2. If this is 20, 20, this has to be 20 root 2. If this is 30, this also 30, this is 30 root 2. If this is x, this also is x and this is x root 2. Okay, similarly, so the distance here is 10 root 2. This is the distance from point A to point B here, okay. If I redraw this point A to point B like this, I am redrawing in this manner, A to B, see, I am travelling from A to B. Once I reaches B, I will get an electric pole of height 5 meters. From the top of the pole to the point A, Always the pole will make an angle of 90 degree to the ground, okay, makes an, it is very perpendicular. Always a pole of an height, height is an altitude, altitude makes an angle of 90 degree to the ground. This distance is 10 root 2, see, from point A to point B, 10 root 2 and this is 90 degree it is making. This is the ground, imagine this one, okay, this is what it is, A to B, 10 root 2, this height is 5. So this is becomes a Pythagoras, if I apply the Pythagoras here, square root of 5 square plus 10 root 2 whole square, okay. 5 square plus 10 root 2 whole square, 5 square is 25, 10 root 2 whole square is 10 square and root 2 square, 10 square is 100, root 2 square is 2, so this is nothing but 200. Square root of 
25 plus 200, which is nothing but root of 225. Root of 225 is 15. Answer is 15. Okay. I want you to watch this one once again. You will get the clear explanation and also the conceptual detail. The question was asked in the three dimensional directions here. And guys, this is the bouncer of the day and homework question. I want you to solve this question and put the answer in the comment section. Thank you. I will meet you in the next video.